What's up, everybody? It's Taylor Soper from GeekWire, and we are here with Mark Britton, the CEO of Avo. What is Avo? Uh, it's a company in Seattle that has new space right behind us. And that's we're, why we're here. We're at the Avo new headquarters, grand opening. So Avo, we help people navigate the legal profession. And so we, uh, as we travel through the office, you'll see some of the motifs as it relates to legal. But mostly it's just a pretty cool office where people like to come to work. Speaking of pretty cool, there are some pretty cool carpeting yes. here. So tell us about this. So this is where we start with some of the legal stuff. But you can see we have, I'm standing on Ozzy Osbourne's head. But these are different celebrities that unfortunately have run into some amount of legal trouble. Some small, some big. For example, we have Ozzy, but we also have... Seattle's own Bill Gates, and we know that he didn't get in. And I don't even know why he was arrested in Albuquerque, but was surely not serious enough to where uh, he couldn't go on and start Microsoft. Here's my favorite here. This is, this is actually Taylor Soper right here being arrested. Uh, and that would actually, Taylor Soper, that would make you five foot eight, Taylor. Uh, no, that's actually Robert Downey Jr. But all sorts of just kind of fun celebrities. I mean, what, a big part of AVO is making the legal profession more accessible. And especially when you're talking about criminal things, people just freak out. And so we thought that putting everyday, not, not everyday people, but what you don't necessarily think of someone having a crime or being charged with a crime in their past, we thought, let's go ahead and put that in the carpet. And it really goes to a little bit of that accessibility and just let's not freak out about our legal issue. It's infinitely handleable, whether you are Jerry Garcia or Bill Gates. Very cool, okay. Let's, uh, let's check out the rest of the space. All right, let's do it. Okay, we've made it beyond the, the cool carpeting over there into the main entranceway here. Yeah. Tell us about this space. Well, what we wanted to design this, and we'll pan across this in a second, but this is really the central meeting location for the entire company. And so, I don't know if you can see it, but we have a large conference room back there. We have a large conference room right here where people can get together. And you'll notice through the entire space, there's a lot of glass. And the idea behind that was it's just transparency. We're all about transparency as it relates to the legal profession. But also within companies, I think so often you can get behind those closed doors and people don't know what is happening and, and just let them see what's on the screen, who's meeting, what's going on. And so even my own office, which is still a disaster, I don't even have my furniture in there yet, but I, two whole walls or our ceiling to floor glass because I want to be out there with everybody else, although I need a little more privacy than the average bear because people are constantly coming in and chatting with me about different issues. But I'm right there where everybody can see me standing at my desk all day long. And, it, and, and, and the conference room does the same thing. Very cool. So let's walk a little bit. Um, some good stuff going on here. Good, it feels like there's good energy in this building already. Yes. Well, the party's just getting started. So as you can see, Taylor has the breathalyzer right here and he's not too he hasn't had one of these beers yet so we're in good shape i like the branding on the cups here that's pretty cool thank you thank you there is a decent amount of avo swag here that I'm sure you can smuggle one of those home this evening okay, and there's uh, taps so, yeah so again in a company like avo we we work hard but we also you know we want to have fun and so yes these are kegerators and um, sometimes we joke that a company that rates lawyers maybe shouldn't be drinking beer on a regular basis, but we flip it around and say we actually need to have a beer on a regular basis because every once in a while we get a call from an angry lawyer. Uh, but anyway, so we talked about the conference rooms, and then if you kind of go, turn this way, uh, here we'll kind of we'll back up to this is all our common lunchroom to where we usually have, it's just benches where people can sit and have lunch and also see the wonderful Seattle skyline. But we have, uh, we have the ovens and the refrigerators and it's just a common place where people can share. 
Uh, and then every floor, and we will see one of the uh, additional floors, has a smaller kitchen area where people can congregate, make their food, et cetera. But we just, you'll notice in the entire office, it's very open, and this is really emblematic in that regard. Very cool. Okay. Okay, we are one floor up now on 15. Yes, it's a little quieter up here. Maybe we can uh, actually talk and hear each other. So Some deep thoughts about the business model and everything. But uh, So this is an, another open area. It feels very open, and that's kind of the theme of these op- this office, it seems. Well, I'm, I'm also a little worried that the theme is parties because this comes from we had a multi-floor. Everyone decorated their own neighborhood to get to know the building. And it's also really exciting because we had our sales teams and uh, everyone else in separate buildings for the last year and a half, two years. And so it's just everybody's really excited to be back together. So it was in the Mr. Rogers uh, theme of welcome to my neighborhood. We had parties on every floor. And so the furniture's moved out of here. And uh, you can tell that this had some sort of pirate, which again is that criminal or legal (laughs) motif. Um, But yeah, this is one of those areas where people can congregate up here. And then as you kind of move uh, this way, you can see that um, very open space where everyone works. And then the communal space, here I'm going to come on this side, but the communal space, a conference room, see how open this is where people can get together, share their thoughts, but they're not behind those closed doors. And then if I shift this way one more time and we look down the hall, you'll see that this is everybody has open space and they're against a window. So the, the people who have the window are, are those that are out on the floor. And then if for whatever reason you absolutely need an office, then you have the floor to ceiling glass so that you're still very much a part of the floor and not separated from the rest of the organization. So that was part of the, the feel that we wanted to have um, in the office space as a whole. Very cool. Okay, yeah, let's take a little walk. Okay, here we go. So uh, this is the floor that has a lot of uh, product and development. And you can tell that some are still working late, analyzing data or building product. Um, The other thing that we absolutely love about this space, Greg Orloff, can we, he can't even hear us. This is what I love. Greg, he can't hear us. Okay. Uh, Sorry. Can we just, I want to show these guys, um, every, these sliding walls are set up. These are movable um, whiteboards. And so Greg can have this right next to his desk to write his thoughts, but also, can I pull on this just a little bit, Greg? Yeah, I think this one might be. But if you want to pull it this way in order to um, talk in the entire pod, here's your whiteboard right here. And so it is, it's great. And it gives everybody a little privacy as well. I've really noticed that the people outside of my office make sure that it's set up so that I can never see their screens. I don't know what they're looking at, but they don't want me looking at their screens. So here's an example of a common area. Again, floor to ceiling glass. And look, everybody's, these are whiteboards as well. You can write all over the glass. And so you have people, We have the concrete wall that people love. You have the whiteboard paint, everybody writes on it. And then they're taking advantage of this whiteboard here. But again, if you're, whether you're out here or inside, this is all swirling around you. And it's part of one ecosystem and nobody's feeling shut off. Now, I have to admit, I have no idea what the Duplo blocks. And you can tell I have children that I know those are Duplos rather than Legos. Um, But uh, maybe that just helps stoke creativity within the office. I was going to say, is that a company-wide mission or... uh, Again, with the theme, you'll notice that it's a police car (laughs) with the police officer. So uh, we at least we're consistent. Everything's connected somehow. It's illegal. And coming back to legal. And this one, this room is called Bainbridge. So is there a theme here with the rooms? Okay, so in the old office, we named everything after federal prisons, whether federal or state. The problem was whatever theme that we came up for for this building, there weren't enough names that we could come up with because, again, we have a lot of common rooms because everybody's out on the floor. Um, So we decided, and when I say we, that is, uh, I was not involved at all. This was facilities. They said... 
uh, we're going to pick certain themes so that people know that they're in, say, the Seattle Metro Islands area. So these are this area over in here is all named after, you know, Bainbridge, Vashon, etc. Uh, and then up on, I don't even remember what it's named after on my floor, we're still getting used to it, but um, at least you have some ability to understand where you're supposed to be meeting based on the, uh, whether it's an island or a Supreme Court justice, that's another thing we have somewhere around here. Makes sense. And there weren't enough prisons to... Uh, the, the problem is people, the names after you get past like San Quentin and Folsom, nobody knows what it is and they don't know where it is. So uh, you have to get, I mean, prisons, there are a lot of them, but the ones that you know, it's onesies and twosies. I like the Seattle thing. Yeah, there you go. They, they also thought that let's get away from the prison <laughs> thing. Maybe we've overdone the criminal element. <laughs> The carpets are good. And, yeah, yeah. Stop, stop. Carpet and Duplo and the pirate banners, okay. we're good. Okay. Good mix there. Okay, cool. Let's keep going. Nice. So, you know, anytime that you're building out space and you're spending the money on it and you're a company that's, every company's thinking about their P&L, um, you don't want to go crazy, but people work hard and you want to make sure that they have space that is a fun place to be because they're going to spend a lot of hours here and where I really think our designers nailed it and I'll give you an example right here in an empty office but you can see that um, I should almost show you an office that's done but still look at this you have the beautiful wood floors coming into the carpeting but then you have a concrete wall which people just love and it's pretty hip but it's also very inexpensive and so where we spent the most money was on the glass um, again, to make sure that people didn't feel shut off from the rest of the floor. Uh, but we were able to do this space, so starting with um, uh, our CFO, who oversees facilities, down to Steve Barker, who runs our facilities, they did an amazing job at building out. It's just cool space, but it's, um, it, it didn't break the bank, and so I, I'm really proud of them. Yeah. Keep the startup mentality, right? Yeah, for sure, for sure. Well, fun stuff. Good times at uh, Avo, and thanks for showing us the new space. It's pretty cool. I, I'm glad you like it. You can come back anytime. We'll be back. Cool. Okay, thanks.